Hello, my name's Ashley. Welcome to my TikTok called Self Love Approach. And can you guess what this page is about? It's about self love. And I'm gonna be sharing my mental health story slash experience slash journey. Whatever, whatever, whatever mental health, how I got here and where I started in my mental health journey. Okay, let's get started. I feel like we've all been through trauma <laughs> to make light of it. I don't know, I think we all have. And there's also a thing called generational trauma, which I'm now reading about in a book, Call Me Stupid for Not Knowing About It, but I didn't realize that literally in our genes, trauma from like years ago from ancestors are literally in our genes and can be expressed. So that's fun. Anyways, I'm trying to avoid this, but yes, I grew up in a childhood home that was very traumatic. And the first time I ever realized like something was a bit different, something up was up, was when I was about seven years old, seven years old, and I started to feel very stressed all the time. That was the word to describe it, was stressed. And everyone in my family used to think, you know, Ashley just gets really stressed out easily. I struggled in school. Like, I got by. I could be seen as average. I got by, but I was struggling. Like, I could not retain information. Like, my mind was always just overwhelmed by emotions and by stress. <laughs> and I just did not thrive in school like uh, other people that got, like, straight A's and, like, just had a breeze in school. I did not like teachers. I just did not like school. I didn't think I would go to university, but in my family, I had two older sisters and my dad and mom I think really wanted me to go to university if I didn't really want to go I'm sure I didn't have to but I was like okay I really don't know what else I'm gonna do with my life because I was really unmotivated I was very like depressed and down about myself and life and so by the time I got to high school end of high school I was like okay I just applied to a bunch of universities and colleges I got into a few different schools but I decided to go to Ryerson which is in downtown Toronto and this is where my mental health journey really kicked off and I reached out to resources I think it was in second year it wasn't like right when I arrived and what I did was I reached out to a counselor I can't even remember what made me do this oh yes because I was experiencing panic attacks which I did not know were panic attacks I was experiencing full-blown panic attacks every day after I woke up from a night of drinking. I would have extreme panic attacks. So I reached out to a counselor and to uh, the doctor to get a mental health assessment, which I found out I had an anxiety and panic disorder. 